Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to integrate WhatsApp in our website. So let's get started with it. So firstly, you have to just search for WhatsApp API link. So here you have few ads over here. So just skip that ad and here you have the faq.whatsapp.com. So just open that link over here. And you have all the available options like how you can just send a message to a number with a text and here you have only text so you don't have a number over here so you can just directly give the text so we are going to use this thing i'll just copy this and when you paste it in the new tab and hit enter so you can see it is asking to open the application whatsapp application which is installed in my system so here you can see the phone number which you have passed over here is uh, displaying over here and the message which you have sent in the url over here so you can see here i am interested in your car for sale so i'll just close this and go back to your application so here we require this throughout the website so we don't require this only on a single page so if the user is on any of the page we have to show that whatsapp icon over here so for that we'll just go to the main.html so the layout and we will add that over here so let me just say uh, create an anchor tag over here close the a tag and in the href of that a tag you just paste the link which you just copied over there so here you can just change your number here you have to give the country code so i'll just say plus nine one so this is uh, india's country code and you followed by your 10 digit number so you can give and this text you can just change and this percentage 20 specifies the space over here so you can just change this i am interested and just you can give some message over here chat about my idea or whatever so I'll just leave it till here and now to display the whatsapp logo over here we need a png image so i'll just go and download that just search for whatsapp uh, png image so here you have a lot of WhatsApp logos. So I'll just take this one. And this is PNG. Yeah. So I'll just drag that and drop it in our folder over here. And I'll rename it. Let's say WhatsApp. And you can just control X and paste it inside your static folder paste yeah so we'll get back to the code and here we need to call the img tag and here src equals and here you have to call the static and give the path of that image so we'll just show you inside our static folder we have it inside the images right so call it slash images slash whatsapp.png so I'll just copy it from here rename control a c and paste so if you are not getting this image being displayed on the screen make sure your path is correct and you have called the right file name without any spelling mistake and we'll give a alt tag over here and say whatsapp logo or I'll just leave it to whatsapp we'll specify a width for this image and we'll just set it to 60px so now let us just check our output so we'll go to the browser and we'll just close this thing and refresh so i've got it over here we will just move this to this side with css so just open your code and give a class to this a tag class is equal to you can say whatsapp chat just copy that go to your css file custom.css paste so here i'm going to say bottom your 10 percent left 
let us just check the output now refresh just control shift R it's still here here we we'll just add uh, important and one more thing we are missing over here we had to give the position as fixed the so position fixed and now let us just refresh and check refresh okay so it has moved over here so we'll just reduce this left and bottom percentage we'll just make the bottom to 5 and the left also will keep as 0 5 and now let us just check the output refresh okay we'll just move it a little more uh, to the left and the size if you want you can just increase that just left will just decrease it to 3 and here you had the size 60 px right we'll just make it to 70 refresh okay yeah so once you click on this this link will change to the whatsapp so we want to open that in the next tab right so i'll just add the target equal to underscore blank in the a tag let's say target is equal to underscore and blank save refresh and now when you click on this you've got that whatsapp chat so when you click continue to chat you just log in your whatsapp and you can chat with that business so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to integrate whatsapp in our website so thank you for watching this video like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you